In this episode of Alphabet Movie Collection, I'll be discussing some movies from my collection beginning with the letter C. Hey, it's me, AP, aka Mr. Movie Cheer, and welcome back to another video. So it's time for another episode of Alphabet Movie Collection, and today I am looking at the letter C, and I've got six movies from the collection behind me, and yeah, again, the this C, the letter C has been an okay letter. It's not been too hard to find letter C's, uh, be, you know, movies beginning with the letter C. Uh, so I've got six movies here, and I'm I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, you know, going through this collection. And what I have noticed doing these videos now, going back, I, I find like with the letter A and B, there's letters then I, I've missed out movies and I, I go through the collection afterwards and I'm like, oh, that I should have included that movie because I, I, I forgot that movie began with this letter. Um, so I'm sure there's going to be a point where later on, once I film this later down the road, where I go back to them and I'm like, oh God, I missed this movie. This began with the letter C. But I'm pretty happy with this selection I've got here. I've got six solid movies beginning with the letter C. So let's get into those movies. So the first movie I want to discuss starting with the letter C is Conan the Barbarian. Starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, this was, I think this was his, first, his screen debut um, by Arnold. Uh, so the movie, he is, his character in this is like a slave. He turns into this grand, great warrior. And he he take he has to take down this like this cult leader played by James L. Jones, you know, Darth Vader, well the voice of Darth Vader. And I, I, this was one I had in the collection for years. Didn't watch it, and I think I remember watching bits of it as a kid. Uh, watched it this year, and I really enjoyed it. I think it's got first of all it's got uh, Basil Pedoras who did the soundtrack for like Starship Troopers and um, also Robocop. He does the score for this movie. The score is phenomenal. Uh, I think it's great to see Arnold in his first movie. There is a few points in this. It is a bit cheesy, uh, maybe a bit dated, but it's a fun movie to watch. Um, it's, it's just a, like a fun, it's got like that sort of like, you know, the like a myth, mythological medieval type feel to this movie. It's a fun movie. It doesn't take itself too seriously. Uh, well worth checking out Conan the Barbarian. The next movie, beginning with the letter C, is Captain America the Winter Soldier. Uh, this is the obviously the second movie in the Captain America franchise. Uh, I could have easily you, you know, picked Civil War as well. And, I mean, the first one is great as well. But the Winter Soldier movie is probably my favourite. I think it's a great... They, they reintroduce, you know, Bucky Barnes in here as the Winter Soldier, as this villainous character... Uh, I think it is a very different shift from the first movie as well. It goes into this like this spy thriller, whereas the first one was kind of just like a World War uh, World War Two action movie. Uh, but yeah, it's a fantastic movie. Chris Evans is great. You've got you know Scarlett Johansson in there as well. Robert Redford's in here. Samuel Jackson, a superb cast, and some absolutely amazing. You know, action scenes in this. The one of my favorite scenes is when the realization when when Cap sees Steve Rogers sees Bucky for the first time, and he's like, "Bucky," and it's you, Bucky. He say, "I can't remember the line," but then Bucky said, "Who's Bucky?" And then that it's just that that moment where the realization he has no idea who he is, and uh, it is he's just obviously being manipulated in this movie but it's a fantastic film really enjoyable movie within the mcu i think one of the best mcu movies out there winter soldier a great one let's start in with the letter c the next movie i want to discuss is a robert zemeckis and tom hanks collaboration uh, obviously, we had these two collaborating on Forrest Gump, and this is another one, Castaway. Uh, Castaway, basically a guy, Tom Hanks' his character, he is in a plane crash, he lands on a desert island, he has to survive for many years, and it is just a, a great story of, you know, very little dialogue in this, this movie, because Tom Hanks is just kind of on his own, um, but... It's just a really, really grand, great story, and uh, it's him trying to get off this island. And uh, I will say the transformation is a big factor in how good this movie is. He, he, uh, he lost a load of weight before filming this movie, uh, Tom Hanks, and filmed all the scenes apparently when he like had lost a load of weight. And I think then like the early scenes of the movie where he is kind of like a, uh, you know, has a bit more weight on his body. They film them later when he put the weight back on, and it's really 
you see like you know the the drastic transformation the weight transformation he you know participated in to to film this movie and i think it is great and it's just a great role because like i said tom hanks is such a a great actor but there is a very little dialogue in this movie you know he does there is a point where he he creates this is a his friend this football this beach ball called wilton and there's a bit more dialogue there but still it's not like a ton and um Tom Hanks' acting is is just phenomenal in this. He is, is a, one of my favourite actors of all time, and this goes down as one of my favourite movies, and it's a great one, beginning with the letter C. You know me, I am a big fan of my action movies, and a big Arnold fan. I've got another Arnold movie right here, and that is Commando. Uh, one I really enjoyed watching growing up, Commando. Big fan of this movie. Uh, basically... The guy he plays in this, his daughter gets kidnapped. He has to go and find his daughter again. And he's like this ex-army guy and, you know, ex this ex-commando. And he just goes on an all-out assault to try and find his young daughter in this. Superb Arnold movie. Uh, one of my favourite parts in this, probably him going to the shop where he, he gets all the weapons. And then he, <laughs> he's just like, just filling up a trolley load of weapons and then... I, I love that and and the end scene where he's like going to this big this mansion where his daughter's being held the fight scenes in that the, the action scenes are, are really fun to watch uh, a really entertaining movie if you like Arnold this is classic Arnold in this movie Commando uh, a great great watch Another movie I want to discuss beginning with the letter C is Cliffhanger, starring Sylvester Stallone. And this movie has got a, quite a cool cast. It's got Michael Rooker in there and John Lithgow. And I will say Cliffhanger is, is you know, Stallone is great in this. But I think John Lithgow's villain in this is, is amazing. It, it, I mean, this is a movie I watched years ago and had in the collection for years, didn't watch it. Maybe last year, or probably last year now, I, I give it a rewatch. Uh, I thought it was a great film, but I think John Lithgow's villain in this is 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 amazing. He is just watch if you've not watched this movie, watch this movie. And if you don't, know John John Lithgow, he's the guy from Harry and the Hendersons, the dad in that movie. So he's kind of like this this guy who plays like good guy characters in my eyes. And in this, he plays like this real like it's kind of like a diehard type villain in this and he just plays it superbly he's a he's a great villain and he should have had more roles as villains maybe he, he did and i'm just not aware uh, but a great film cliffhanger basically uh stallone's character there's an accident at the start of the movie he works on like these mountains climb mountains and stuff like that there's an accident he takes blame for it and he decides to like hang up his boots of climbing and then these sort of like these evil, te like these terrorist types uh, led by John Lithgow's group, these group of villains, take to the mountains and take um, hostage some of the mountaineers. And it's just this great, great story set in the mountains, set on these big cliffs. And it truly is a cliffhanger of a movie. Well worth checking out this one. Now, the final movie beginning with the letter C I am going to discuss is Casino Royale, the uh, first Daniel Craig James Bond movie. I remember when this came out, everyone was saying, oh, this is a, it's it's not like normal Bond. It's like a, it, it, it's like a love story. It's a, it's a romance. Sure, there is a romance in there, but it is still your typical Bond. It is, I think it's, it's it ups the game of Bond movies. For me personally, I think the action scenes are, a lot better than the Pierce Brosnan ones. I mean, this is in a, a new era of filmmaking. The action scenes were very much inspired at, at the point at this point by like the the Jason Bourne movies, the Bourne identities were the high action, high energy movies, and Casino Royale def definitely took a lot of inspiration from them Bourne identity movies. But I think it is a great. I think Daniel Craig. Uh, at, at first, I, I when I was you know when they announced the casting of Daniel Craig, I thought he doesn't look like a Bond. But this movie proved me wrong and probably a lot of other people wrong he was the perfect bond i think for me he's probably my favorite bond he really is i think his bond movies have been great uh, there's been like like quantum of souls kind of took a bit of a dip but the rest of them have been a pretty enjoyable movies um but casino royale it is you know you got mads mickelson as the villain though i think mads mickelson is makes for a great villain in this movie um it's a lot of focus around as well uh, well you know the card table in this and you know, a lot of them um, were they're doing like these high stakes games, and it's it very much it's like a like a psychological 
point in this movie, you know, in them scenes, it's very much like psychological warfare between Bond and Mads Mikkelsen's character, which I really enjoy. I think it's great, and I think it sets up a lot of the future tellings in this James Bond, Daniel Craig universe. A uh, really good film, Casino Royale, is for sure one of my favourite Bond movies. And it begins with a letter C, and I think it's a final, a good final movie to end on this video. So I just want to do a final roundup of these movies today. I just want to pick out two that I think are certainly my favourites. Captain America The Winter Soldier, a standout for me in this movie collection behind me, and Casino Royale, as I said, a superb Bond movie. And I think Daniel Craig is a, is a great Bond, and Dan and that movie proved it and I think the second the sequel in the Captain America franchise was fantastic a really good movie that really added a lot more depth to them characters within the Captain America movie series so that is it for another letter in the alphabet movie collection uh, let me know your thoughts on today's picks of movies beginning with the letter c uh, what movies in your collection begin with the letter c uh, some of your favorites let me know all your thoughts uh, thank you very much for watching remember to spread a bit of movie cheer and as always i will see you next time